And that's why the vaxxers, the anti-vaxxers employ security. You're listening to Skeptoid Shorts. I'm Brian Dunning from Skeptoid.com. How to become a cosmonaut. Last year I spoke in Berlin at the Chaos Communications Conference and my topic was space hackers. It concerns the urban legend that a number of Soviet cosmonauts died in space on flights that never made it into the history books and who were subsequently released from history. These tales are based almost entirely upon interpretations of some recordings made by two young Italian brothers who turned their radio receivers in to pick up Soviet and American radio traffic during Cold War era space flights. A collateral perk of doing Skeptoid is that I get to learn all sorts of ancillary facts that never make it into an episode, usually because they're off topic. I learned one such fact while working on a few extra slides dealing with the timeline of the female cosmonaut program. The most dramatic of the recordings is a woman's voice in Russian, apparently in grave peril, pleading for help in her last moments of life. According to the timeline of events, there's no way a woman cosmonaut could have been in a capsule or even having been selected for training at the time the recording was made. But five women did eventually make it into the training program. The principal skill sought by the program was parachuting ability as bailing out of the returning capsule was the key life or death moment for a cosmonaut. So five women with parachuting experience and who were the right height and weight were selected. But who was to be the first? At the end it came down to two forerunners, textile worker Valentina Tereshkova and pilot Valentina Ponomaryova, the wife of a cosmonaut. Academic tests were administered and it was Ponomaryova who was the winner. By their stated standards, Ponomaryova was the one who best fit their criteria. But tests and experience were not all that mattered in the Soviet Union. An interview also came into the equation. The final question was, what do you want from life? Ponomaryova answered, I want to take everything it can offer. Tereshkova answered, I want to support irrevocably the Komsomol and the Communist Party. Valentina Tereshkova flew into space on Vostok 6 on June 16, 1963. Despite strong support from the senior engineers who considered her best qualified, Ponomaryova was passed over. But politics dealt Ponomaryova a double whammy, this time aided by flagrant sexism. She didn't make it into space as the first woman, but she was scheduled for a flight a few years later, along with other women. During Tereshkova's flight, a problem sent the craft into orbit 90 degrees out of rotation. Tereshkova reported the error and corrected it. It seems almost impossible to believe, but the accounts we have show that certain directors in the space program felt that she should have allowed herself to be killed rather than embarrass the program by reporting an error. These same directors went on to report that Tereshka vomited during her flight, which was true but hardly unexpected that she blanked out and couldn't remember how to operate the troll, the controls, which was not true, and criticized her for some injuries sustained during the ejection, which happens to many pilots who eject. Since clearly women could not be relied on to operate a spacecraft, the program was ended and Ponomaryova, whose greatest crime was wanting to be all she could be, never got her chance. This has been a Skeptoid Short. I'm Brian Dunning from Skeptoid.com. Yeah.